But there's certainly been a lack of intensity with and without the ball this season from Liverpool in all the games. Suarez, you heard. Uh, did they thought about sacking him already? Yeah, I, I did. I heard from two really close people to Liverpool that John W. Henry had come close not once but twice, and I think that's actually quite worrying. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Am I speaking to Tobel FC Evan? Yes, that's me. It's Ian Air. What? Ian Air? What? Is this a wind up? Why do you not believe me? Come on, am I on a prank show? Where are the cameras? Oh, you must be you must be riding Robbie Fowler again, mate. Excuse me. On, the, <laughs> on his back. Like the last time, remember? How on earth do you know about that? That was all over the Liverpool forums. And do you know that Liverpool FC are monitoring the fan forums? Oh yeah, I heard about that. And YouTube channels as well. What? Really? Wow, I didn't know that for sure. The club are monitoring YouTube channels now. We found your channel quite interesting. Wow, that's such an honor. This is the best day of my life. But wow. wait, it's about to get even better. It gets what? It gets better. Would you like to be Liverpool's next manager? No. Yes, I'm serious. No, you got to be joking. The club sent you an email, official offer included. Okay, I will check my emails. But w wait, what What about the big name manager like Klopp and Ancelotti? What about them? Did you try and uh, contact them? They are sunbathing on a beach, mate. Oh, they are on the beach <laughs> getting a tan. Okay, I will get the first plane to Liverpool, mate. Great. It's a resounding yes. I don't even have to think about it. Wait until you see my press conference. I have big things to say to the fans and to the media. Looking forward to that. Okay, thank you. It's an honor. My pleasure. See you in Liverpool, Tom. Okay, see you there. Goodbye. Take care. Goodbye. Yes! I feel I just became the Liverpool manager. Got it, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first press conference. I'm honored and privileged and very happy to be here. I'm different to other managers. I'm because I have been growing up as a Liverpool fan all my life since I was a little kid, since I started watching football. So I perfectly know what the fans want. I perfectly know what the fans have been through in the last 20 years, where I feel that Liverpool lost their identity lost the Liverpool way. All the big clubs in the world, people know exactly their identity, people know how they will play, the Barcelonas, the Bar Bayern Munichs of this world. I want to get it back to Liverpool. Liverpool is a pass and move, the Liverpool groove style of club. I promise the fans that we will play attacking, direct football. And I'm a planner. If you want to reach your dreams and your goals in life, not only you need to plan, ahead but you also need to know what path leads to reaching your goals at the moment we can't attract world class players so i will not be signing the neymars the royces of this world instead i will invest heavily and we agreed on this with the board i will i will invest heavily in the youth academy i will also bring through young players also i want to do something differently from previous managers i want to listen to the fans more and i will also let them ask me questions for the next press conferences so i will read the forums the comments and i will i will answer some of their questions in the next press conference i respect the fans opinion and i really want to hear what they want to say thanks for your t attention ladies and gentlemen we have a lot of work to do but it's a very exciting time to be a liverpool fan liverpool are back i promise you that
What's up guys, I'm Paul FC Evan and welcome to the first episode of the Liverpool Career Road Show. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this video if you want to see the next episode very soon and let me know in the comments below which transfers should we go for. I really hope that you guys enjoy the press conferences, the intro, I upgraded my room, it actually looks like a proper film studio with all the studio lights and the green screen behind me. I really hope that you guys enjoy and appreciate me investing heavily into making the videos as good as possible. So yeah, we will download the latest quads. At the moment we will play on world class difficulty and maybe later we will bump it up to legendary when we get used to the gameplay. I want to make Liverpool's group the same as they are in real life. So I made the Europa League group the same as Liverpool have in real life, Bordeaux, Rubin, Kazan and uh, Sion. And straight away we get a very exciting message that we, they, we were invited to a pre-season tournament. So let's see the free tournaments that are, are available for us. One of them is in Mexico, the other one is in Germany and the third one is in Spain. Yeah, I think uh, I think this might be the best choice because these are, there are weaker teams, and um, and I think we can we can play, and we can hopefully win that. And of course, this offers the most money as well, and we badly need more funds because the Liverpool team needs a lot of work. What? Benteke has a broken ankle. What? Uh, don't cheat me uh, at the beginning of this career mode. Come on, seriously. Okay, what's the league objectives? Okay, so the board wants us to qualify for the Champions League. That's also realistic because that's what Liverpool are aiming to do. I will go into the squad report. I will list the players. So at the moment, we have two goalkeepers, Mignolet and Bogdan. And they are not world class, but I want to give them a season um, to see how, how good they are. And if, if Mignolet is not good enough, then we can sign a new goalkeeper in January or the summer. I want to bring in some exciting young players, but not too many, you know, because first I also want to take a look at some of these players like Flanagan, Wisdom, and um, yeah, McLaughlin needs to go on loan, I think. Skirtel is one of the players that we need replacing in the long term because he's 30 years old. But not at the moment, because we have uh, Sako, Toure, I think Sako and Skirtel might be my centre-back pairing for now. But we might be... Oh, and the Hungarian player, nice, young centre-back, he will also go out on loan. And Ilori is probably on loan or not uh, in this game, I'm not sure. Gomez, I really like him in real life, so hopefully he will be amazing in this career mode. So at the moment, as you can see, we have loads of centre-backs and young ones as well, so we don't really need to strengthen the defence. And we have also Jose Enrique and Moreno, but I will probably sell Jose Enrique. So we need a new left-back, guys. That's the first thing that comes up from this squad report. So recommend me a young left-back, guys. That's the first, first question. Uh, for you guys and of course recommend me any other players if you know some awesome players on career mode let me know I will also make a best young players of career mode video very soon maybe today or tomorrow because the official potential ratings have been released by EA so in centre midfield we also need to upgrade Lucas and Joe Allen uh, is just uh, is just too small not not really a very very good player so we might we might be interested in signing a young defensive midfielder as well. Uh, I think in forward positions, especially in number 10 roles, we have so many players. Look at that, Coutinho, Lalana, Firmino, all can play in the young number 10 positions. And I'm especially looking forward to developing Teixeira. And it's very good to see some of the real life young Liverpool players being in on the game. And I'm not planning on signing a, a new striker. Because at the, at the moment we have four very good strikers and also some really good young players. Jordan Ibe is one of the players that we are really looking at developing. And straight away we can go into the training mode. So guys, I will let you guys vote which five players should we train. I will let, set up a Trusropo vote but you can also leave a comment. And I will focus on the youth, young players. So I showed you the whole squad. Go back to the video if you haven't paid attention. And I will let you guys decide. I don't want to uh, 
train players who are older than 24, 25 because I, I heard that the training is most effective, most effective with young players. So let me know in the comments below who should I train. A big change from last year's carrier mode is that now the squad limit is 52 players, which is just crazy, but it's, real, it's kind of realistic as well, because now, thankfully, EA added a lot of real-life young Liverpool players. It's just such a shame that EA haven't created uh, an under-21 league where I could play them and simulate the games and we could get scout reports, or, uh, sorry, reports from the under-21 manager on how they are doing. So I will send out all these players on loan, but I wanted to show you how, who I transfer listed. So at the moment, I'm thinking about maybe selling Colo Toure and Jose Enrique. Uh, Colo Toure because he's 34 years old and I feel that whenever he would play, it would be better to play a youngster in his place, like Gomez or Ilori or other young centre-backs. That's my thinking and I think that's what Liverpool should do. Of course, in real life, experience is very important. So Colo Toure is a very experienced player. He won the league with Arsenal and Manchester City. But I feel that in on career mode, uh, it would be better for the youngsters to play. And Jose Enrique, he's basically just interested in picking up money and taking stupid selfies. So get out of the club, Enrique. I'm transfer listing him as well. But all the other players, not yet. I want to give everybody a chance, even Joe Allen and the likes of Lucas Leiva, who I'm not a big fan of either players, but let's give them a chance. Let's see how they do until January, and then we can bring in more players. But at the moment, I may be looking at uh, bringing in a young left back, because we don't really have a lack of backup left back, and a young defensive midfielder who can, in the long run, replace Lucas Leiva. So let me know, and uh, maybe if you have any other young beast players to recommend me to sign, leave a comment right now. And that wraps up the first episode because I want to wait for your comments to arrive and I want to see who you guys want to sign. And don't forget to leave your questions for the next press conference in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this. See you later, have a lovely day, goodbye!